Hi, this is David with Straight to the Point Design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add depth of field, or some people would search on how to fake depth of field, in a picture. And so for this exercise, I've selected this image um, from Hawaii from several years ago. And, um, you know, as you can see the background, and I've already started um, using the lasso tool, and each click point uh, continues to lasso the area that I want to uh, select. So I've already gone around the young lady here. And so now that's just to speed up the process here. And so I'm gonna go within the image and finish selecting the area. And then once you complete, you'll see that these now dots are flashing or moving. That shows you that that's the area that's selected. Uh, so that's the area of the image that we're going to go ahead and edit. So uh, if you noticed, like, the girl herself and the grass and a little bit behind her have not been selected. So those are going to remain in focus. It's the items in the back. We want to make sure when you're creating depth of field, um, you know, it's like creating a razor focus on the part of the image, uh, you know, a specific part of the image, and then making everything else seem like it's further away. And so you're adding more depth to the picture. So it seems like that's all further away. So in this case, you know, we want to make her the focal point of the picture, um, you know, Hawaii background and that kind of stuff, obviously, um, you know, will draw your attention uh, to that as well. So now that we have this selected, we can just go up to uh, filters and we are gonna go to the blurs and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur, okay? And what this does is right now, and I'll get this down to where we can see her so you can kind of see the contrast. All right, so that's with a 5% blur behind, okay? Now, just for this, I'll go up to, well, we'll actually go past 25. I'm going to end up setting it on 25 so you can get a good sense for it. But um, as you can see, like at 254, you can't distinguish the background. Um, but if we go back to the 25, um, and as we go through it, you see that it gets... A little fuzzier so adding a little more depth so we're gonna go ahead and put it on 25 see the background now we'll click OK and it's re-rendering it and as you can see she definitely is in focus the grass down below is in focus but the bushes the trees and the ocean in the background are still there but they're just a little fuzzier uh, so it makes it look like those items are more off in the distance. So, you know, that's how you add depth of field to a picture. Uh, it's quite simple. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see how to do within GIMP um, design-wise, uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'd be happy to create a video on how to uh, you know, answer whatever question you do have. Uh, thank you for watching the video and please subscribe.